Friday. It does not. Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Style Rx. And, you know, who would have thought that we would make an entire week's conversation? And we could really probably do a few of these, but um, on desktop and tabletop dressing, I mean, who knew? 2020, right? <laughs> I uh, just keep thinking about, you know, all of the many challenges that we've had this past year, but all of the blessings as well. And one of the things I'm so very, very thankful for is technology and specifically this Zoom platform. Although I found myself getting a little bit resistant to hopping on Zoom meetings and things, I am also extremely thankful because uh, during the time when we couldn't really see people in person, then we got to see people through our computers. So Amy and I are excited to be here today. I'm gonna to give you just a little blip of things to come um, before we hop into the topics for today. Next week on Friday, like always, we're here at um, 11 Mountain Time, noon central every single Friday. And next week's going to be layer up. I think here in Kansas, we are having a heat wave and it doesn't feel like fall slash winter, but um, maybe in Utah as well. But we are going to be moving into more winterish type temperatures. So we're going to talk about layering up. The next week, the week before Thanksgiving, is going to be all comfy casual. So I don't know how your holidays are looking this year, but you may be finding yourself a little bit more casual than normal. The following week will be denim week and um, we'll have some guest stylists on for that one. And then the very first week of December, we're going to kick things off with casual holiday outfits for you. So we've got lots in the works. We also have a couple different business conversations that we're going to be having at separate times. So those will be in the evenings. Uh, next Friday is going to be the first one in the evening. So if you are interested in um, tuning in for that, we would love to have you. And also, whether you're interested in this as a career or not, um, you are valuable to us. And we know that you know women that this could be a blessing for. So please don't hesitate to say, hmm, I think you might need to talk to such and such when, and we'll do that. So, okay, tabletop and desktop dressing. First of all, Amy, you are, you are looking great today. Well, thank you. I, I really love doing this with you. And I have just really, really, really loved um, all of the tips and tricks that you've brought to the table and collaborated with me. It's been amazing. So I'm so excited about all things Zoom. <laughs> yes. So we can kind of see Amy a little bit. We're going to be talking about angles and such and also lighting because as you can see amy is tuning in from her bed with her window behind her so even when she's got the angles down a little bit more her computer down a little bit more we're still having a hard time seeing her beautiful face right so I am sitting in my dining room and I have a large dining room window that's right in front of me versus Amy with the window behind her. So that's one of the very first things. If you've got natural light, use it. Set um, so that you're facing it and um, really make it work for you. Natural lighting is the best. We're going to talk about some different ring light options and different lighting options coming up because we realize that not all Zoom meetings are taking place in the prime lighting time of the day. Um, go ahead, Amy. I was just going to say, the other thing is, you notice, um, I think we really wanted to highlight when you're conducting a meeting, but have you ever noticed that person, which I'm guilty of 90% of the time, I really do join meetings from my bed because it's cold in my house, or I think I can tune in when I'm working out and just be like, you know, so we're going to talk about a few of the distractions and some of the courtesies as well. So I'm going to now um, join from my desk as well. And really quick, I'm going to be turning on that ring light that Rebecca mentioned. And you'll notice immediately, even in my well-lit office, the difference in um, 
how my face looks. And there are, the ring lights have different settings that you can use as well. So while I'm getting set up here, I just thought I would point out, but I'm here and I don't have a window behind me. So go ahead, Rebecca. I love that you were walking through your house to your office because that's one thing that's so distracting to me when I'm on a Zoom call and there's a panel of um, participants and you can see everybody and you've got people walking around. And I think by now we've probably all seen that video of the gal that takes her laptop and walks to the bathroom and starts going to the bathroom. So yeah. not great, <laughs> obviously. I also got called out once I was on my phone on the Zoom and I didn't realize my finger was covering and I was scrolling to see who was on the meeting with us. And I had one of our amazing cabbie stylists that I love. She sent me a text and she said, are you scrolling your screen? Cause I keep seeing your finger <laughs> go back and forth. And this was one of our leadership meetings that you and I are so fortunate to be on where I was on with one of the founders of Cabby and I'm doing this. So these, we, Rebecca and I are coming to you with things that we have learned over time. Both of us have been fortunate enough to pilot Cabby's front row um, platform. So not only have we learned over time, but we've also been asked as quote experts in um, IT and in all things technology um, to kind of bring some things to the table. So this is something we really love and thought it would be something fun for you guys to hear about. Not only that, but the fashion side. And there's a lot of stay at home moms that just grandmas that talk to their families and may feel a little washed out all the time. Maybe you just jump on um, where some of these things might help you feel a little more refreshed when you talk to your families. And then the extreme is obviously we have corporate women who are conducting meetings. So maybe some of these tips and tricks will help you today. One of the huge areas that I do want to talk, we've hit um, the lighting background is important. So just kind of make sure that, you know, there's not dirty clothes laying on the floor behind your shoulder or something. And uh, then the angles. Oh yeah, your steamer is perfectly highlighting your shoulder. And I noticed that Pam had mentioned earlier that um, people walking makes her dizzy. And I totally agree. It's like, I need my travel motion um, pills for that because it, it makes me dizzy as well. Angles are important. So you see that I actually have my computer just set up a little bit higher and it's pointing down a little bit at me. Um, some different novel things that you can use. I've propped it up on this bowl um, before. I have it stacked on boxes right now. You know, it doesn't have to be real sophisticated to get the job done, but angles are important. I'm going to remove one of these and adjust it so that my, um, my camera is now directly at eye level. And so that's still good. I think that when it's just a little bit higher, it actually slims, which I'm all about, especially after stress eating. It's, it's helpful to just have that little bit of extra help. Now, it's never a good look when we're looking down into the camera. So just always get your phone, your laptop, whatever it is that you're using. If you've got a webcam, get it up there. So it's either at eye level or a little bit above. I love that. And I'm glad that you brought that up because that was going to be my next point. But I was noticing even with my ring light on, I didn't open my curtain. So I don't have any natural light. So these are things that as you sit down. So what I'm going to do really quick is just pull my office curtain open. It still brightens up a little bit, but Rebecca, you do exactly what I do. And so I have a little basket with like my thank you cards. And anytime I'm doing a front row show or anything, I actually will set my laptop on there. There. Now my setup accepts. See now, now I'm seeing this sun from my curtain. So sometimes it just takes a little bit of like maybe I need to open it a little bit, but not all the way. 
so that we feel like we're refreshed, but I'm the same way. I like to have my laptop up now making typing. It makes it a little harder, but you'll also notice sometimes it, it feels like it's looking up someone's nose. So take the time before a meeting to really kind of decide how you're going to do this. And this is something that Rebecca and I also do when we're standing in front of the rack um, and trying to get a full body view for you guys. So depending on your environment, depending on who you're going to be presenting to, it may change how you want your setup to be. Um, you may need to be outside for whatever reason. So maybe you need to take an umbrella and shade your computer or your lighting or um, there's all different reasons why we're on laptops now and why we're doing Zoom. So just be very aware of, yes, your background. Now I'm in my boutique, so there's always going to be hats and bags behind me, but that's part of my profession and that's okay. My steamer, as and I did leave it out on purpose because it's one of those distractions. So before I would actually get up and just pull it out of the way. So you can see that a very simple, just moving that one line makes it look a lot cleaner behind me. Rebecca? Yeah, and so the next basic thing is noise and distractions. I think that right now we're at the height of distractions with many of you um, having children at home that may be homeschooling. You may have another a spouse that's working from home. And so we've got all these different things that are happening in the background. And even if you have to like clear out a corner of your closet to go hide in, um, obviously you're gonna have to figure lighting out then. But get yourself a quiet area that you're gonna be able to be on your meeting and be present. So um, I've got my dogs kenneled right now because they're very needy and distracting and want me to give them all the love and I need to be focused on you guys. Um, also, they're not gonna be barking in the background if they're sleeping in their kennel. So that's that makes it's easier for me to kennel my dogs than it is for um, you to corral your children necessarily, but try to have, projects or fun things for them to do when you have to be present on a meeting. I was listening to a podcast here a few days ago and the gal said, you know, you've got to give yourself grace. We're in different times. And if your kids are getting more screen time than what they are um, typically used to or what you really want them to have, don't get on yourself about it. Give yourself some grace. So just do what you have to do and um, just really be present. I love that. Um, and I, like I said, I'm one of those that I feel like I'm trying to throw everything in and everything does come at the same time of day because I only have a window of when my kids are in school and all these Zoom meetings come in in the mornings and I really try to give myself time to work out. And so Sometimes we just feel like I'll just turn my Zoom meeting on and be there, but do these other things. And every time I do that, I know that I'm just not really soaking in um, the value of what's being provided. And so a lot of these things that we're talking about are things that maybe we do too, and that we have just learned that the value isn't there. So when I do find that, um, my life is a little distracting and I am on and I really want to be there, but maybe my husband walks in and needs me right now, or maybe I didn't get quite finished with my workout and I'm going to be able to be present in the next 10 minutes. I will just simply, um, stop my video and my picture will come on. Um, you can upload a picture to your profile and that way it's a nice picture, it's there, people know you're there, but maybe you did have to run to the bathroom. So I think that's one other thing. If you even have a free Zoom account, I know Rebecca, do you wanna mute your video really quick because your picture comes up too. Um, it's, oh, her video, nope, it didn't work. Your picture, 
your beautiful picture didn't show up, but she has another beautiful, very professional picture that she uses as well. So the great thing about that, if you are in a corporate meeting and these are people that you're trying to get to know, it's face recognition because your name is on the screen. And I think that is one thing, even if you can't have your camera on, maybe it is that day where you cried all night and your eyes are swollen shut and you just can't show your face. We all feel this sometimes, life happens. But if you can put a nice picture on the screen and keep your video off and still be 100% present, still be taking notes, still comment in the chat screen, they are going to start recognizing your face and your name. And the next time you're in the meeting, they will say, oh my gosh, that comment that you put in the chat screen really meant something to me. Um, so that's maybe one other little tip. You can go in. The other thing that I would say in that is if your name is not showing up on your screen, how you want people to recognize you, definitely rename yourself. Um, I've seen like little kid names or nicknames on there. And so just be very aware. And now we're kind of speaking more to the professional woman right now, but this, all these things can apply um, even if you're speaking to family and friends. Okay, another um, basic that I believe is huge is to talk to your camera eye. So it's natural for me to want to like look at you guys and gauge your reaction and do this, but you can see when I'm actually looking at you, I'm not looking at you. So when I'm looking at the camera eye, that makes it look like I'm looking right through to you and speaking directly to you, which I think is so important for that feeling of connection that we all need. Is It's something that's definitely not, um, is not natural for me. I have had to train myself to look at that darn camera eye because I just want to see your faces. I want to see your reactions and what's happening. And so Oh, she froze. So I'm going to continue with that. It is very hard. It is very distracting to feel like you're looking into the blue hole or the black hole of nothing. Um, but I'm also like, you have to get used to seeing yourself on the screen. And that is a very hard thing. So if you get used to kind of pointing your face somewhere versus up or down, and you'll notice I do that. So sometimes I will keep it on speaker view. Today, I don't have it on that because I want the recording um, to look really beautiful for those that play this back. Um, it looks like we lost her, so she'll come back on. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep talking about some of the basics. So yes, you do have to look at the camera and look at the little eye. Rebecca, I tried to pick up where you left off um, because it is hard to stare at this little black hole, especially when there's people that are reacting. So for me, when I am speaking, I love noticing that Rebecca's nodding and acknowledging what I'm saying. And that way, even if I can't look right at her, I know that what I might be saying is connecting. So if you are a viewer, and you really, really love joining in, we do want to see your faces. We do want to see your reactions. And that's why working with another person is great because while I'm speaking, Rebecca can be connecting. And so these collaborations are really fun for us in that way. So I think um, we should move on to the next topic. I'm going to go ahead and mute and let Rebecca take the lead on this one. It's always fun working with a partner when you have technical difficulties too, which we all have, right? My internet, I don't know what the heck the deal is. Okay, another huge um, piece that I think is important, uh, and we've got an entire Style RX on this topic is your makeup and, um, you know, just contouring and having that 3D look to your face, um, getting attention to your eyes. One of the best ways to do that is with cheek color. I intentionally came today without any lip color on. So I'm going to add a little lip color. And 
doesn't make a huge difference, but it makes a difference. Uh, so, and then another big one is teeth whitening. So I feel like we, yeah, people are seeing this a lot more than, you know, that's what they're honed in on. So we need to make sure that we're showing up as our best self. Amy, what are some of your tips around the, the face? Um, well, you'll, for me, face and makeup is about color. And so I'm just in a cream shirt right now. And I did this on purpose because I want to show you the difference of bringing some color to your face. So you can do this a couple of different ways. So the first example I wanted to show you is um, we've talked a lot about scarves. Now I do have some jewelry on and I'll touch on that in just a second, but this isn't a lot of color, but I want to show you just by layering a jacket. Um, what so white and black are equally colors that will wash you out depending on what you're doing. And so if you are going to maybe you're just in a t shirt and you have to tune into a meeting really quick, um, just having two different tones of my jacket to the shirt will really help with color. But then I am gonna take it a step further and bring a vintage scarf into this um, and just quickly tie this around my neck. And I always like to pull this off to the side and you'll, you're gonna notice that immediately, now pretend I don't have my gold jewelry on because I probably wouldn't with a scarf. I would just do my earrings. But immediately I feel like I'm sitting a little taller and I'm ready. Like anybody could ask me a question. I think it's especially important if you're a manager, if you're presenting a meeting, um, if you're just tuning in, obviously you can put your picture on or you, know, you can kind of sit back a little bit. But if you are the presenter, if you are making a point to speak to people, um, Definitely, you're going to feel your best self if you have color to your face. So I'm going to switch, quickly switch out of this one and just put on a pink t-shirt now so you can also see what color does with just simple jewelry. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to tune our mute so that Rebecca can show you a tip. Yeah, so um, I like to wear, you know, bigger earrings and these are gold. I could um, swap these out for a brighter color earring that would really kind of pull the attention up. I feel like um, bright colors are super important. Now, you'll notice that Amy's background is mostly um, light colored and she had lighter colored um, clothing on. I would probably switch that up. So I'm really um, interested to see what it looks like when her she comes back with her pink top on because uh, that should really make her stand out away from her background. Uh, so if you have dark behind you, make sure that you're wearing something light. And if you're wearing, if you have light behind you, wear something dark or this gorgeous pink top that Amy has put on now. I'm going to let Amy turn her volume back on so you can see that. So I was, I'm in the exact same t-shirt I was in when it was cream, but I wanted you to see the contrast. So exactly what Rebecca said, I was very washed out even with a bronze jacket, but the scarf really helped break that up. Um, but you're gonna notice my lip color, my shirt, and then one other little trick I can show you with this necklace. Um, I shortened my necklace because it's actually a really, really long necklace. And so what I did is I actually wrapped it around my neck twice and then I hooked our little clasp hook to this so it doesn't fall and made it so that my jewelry stays within camera. And so that was that's kind of one thing besides a big statement earring like Rebecca's talking about um, I love to have jewelry and different things up. And I also, you'll notice we're talking with our hands. So we're on camera, but I also think even like a colorful bracelet or, you know, maybe you want a bolder necklace. So the other thing is shorter jewelry when you are leading a call is good. Um, 
this one I didn't know I had separated, but we have these vintage pieces that are incredible. So maybe you don't want to double, but you just put a beautiful, you know, shorter necklace. That's also going to balance out some color and draw the eye. Perfect. Yes. So um, statement jackets and blazers and sweaters, things that are going to add just a little bit of punch to what you're talking about, especially if you're in a panel of participants and you're wanting to draw that attention, I would say bright colors are so, so important to just kind of draw the eye. And then yes, finish it off with the gorgeous jewelry um, like Amy is talking about and uh, shorter necklaces. I love that little trick of doubling up your necklace. And um, I just like, so I have gotten to where I, I wear a lot of leather earrings and it's, um, it's nice because you don't even feel like you have them in your ears. I know Amy wears leather earrings as well, but then you can do some fun, bright colors and just really add that pop um, without feeling like you're weighted down. Because I think one of the benefits of working from home is having that flexibility to, you know, be put together from the waist up and even your PJs and slippers from the waist down if you want to be. Now, um, that opens up kind of another can of worms where I think that we've gotten potentially a little bit on um, the too casual side and that affects us mentally. I really feel like when we make the choice to get up take a shower, put on some makeup, fix our hair, and then put on real clothes. Um, we meet the world different and we feel different. And it, it's been very eye-opening for me. There's been a few times um, in the last several months where Kevin has been like, oh, where'd you go today? And I'm like, nowhere. Oh, did you have a call? No. Oh, you have makeup on. It's like, Oh, yeah, I should probably do that a little more often without those external things. But I think it gets really easy when we're not really seeing anyone to not show up. But I think it's just as important to show up for ourselves. And um, when we look good, we feel good. That's so funny that Kevin said that because Garrett used to tease me that he would have to book his own cabbie show to get me this way. <laughs> because Rebecca and I, if you two don't, if you guys don't know us personally, um, you're going to know we're both very outdoorsy. We both love animals. We'd rather be outside. And more times than not, we're working on projects. So she's way better at that stuff than I am. But I am always there to help my husband. And last night, I was covered in insulation from head to toe. So when we say <laughs> it makes us feel better, we're speaking from firsthand experience that it really does. And there we have a cabbie Facebook page where it's just a stylist page. And I noticed on a thread last night, a woman was saying, oh, do you ever just not wanna put makeup on, but you know you have a show and you have to, we've all been there. And so we are just like you guys. Um, it's sort of like that idea of the magazine, the stars are just like us. We're in front of the camera a lot more than you guys are, but we feel the same. We're burdened with chores, dirty dishes, and we have to kind of get our crap together. And so just knowing that maybe I smell good because I took a shower or I even just washed my face, it really does help me um, be ready. And then once I'm here, and I know that Rebecca and I are collaborating and you guys are joining us. Oh my gosh, it makes my whole day. I can start out kind of like dragging my feet. It's one more thing. And I get on here and it just makes my whole day. So that's when I know that this is what I'm meant to be doing is that I always bring my best self because I want to. So it's a few things that add up to be big, I think. Yeah, my last little tip for you guys is, um, especially if you are presenting, make sure and have some water on hand or a throat lozenge or something to keep 
your your voice kind of steady because you will dry out, especially if you're going to be talking for any amount of time. So just know, um, I, I, I guess another thing you've seen Amy and I mute back and forth, but that's just kind of a common courtesy when you're on a Zoom call. Make sure that you're muted if you're not speaking. And if you are speaking, like we said before, just know what's going on in the background and watch your noise so that they can hone in on what you're saying, especially if you're presenting. So that's my last little tidbit, Amy, um, and I'm going to let you share and wrap things up for us today. And if anybody has questions, they can do that as well. Well, um, I was just going to pull up, you know, I think the one thing too is to learn to have a little fun with these. You can bring your wine glass, your water glass, whatever it is, and give a toast at the end of your meetings. You know, I think this is if you're conducting set a precedence. So just, a, you know, there's been some fun things that um, our founder, now Rebecca and I are from two different organizations within CABI. Um, so we get to talk and kind of bounce things off. But one thing that my founder Sid Ryan has done often is she'll say in advance, everybody wear your favorite vintage CABI piece or everybody bring your favorite shoe. And so those are fashion things, but it's a way for her to get us participating. Um, so if you are going to be conducting the meeting, it's kind of fun to throw something out there in advance so that you immediately have some interaction. And so maybe the next time we do Style RX, we'll throw something out there and say, okay, you know, you need to come with this in hand. Um, and then we always end toasting, uh, you know, to us for the next week. So you guys, we are living in a virtual world. We have no idea how long this is going to be, but it doesn't mean connection and fun can have to be any less. And I hope if anything, you've been able to see how much fun Rebecca and I have doing these. Um, I'll go ahead and just end us. If now I know Susan and um, Pamela are on here. If you guys want to unmute, if you have any questions, feel free. This is a great time to talk to us ask us some things and then we'll give you a few minutes and then I'll go ahead and introduce next week and what we're going to be trying to do for you. I know Rebecca kind of introduced us with that, but I'm gonna remind you as well. Hey, it's Susan. Hi, Susan. <laughs> hey, sorry I came without my video today. I had to do some things and eat lunch, so I won't do that again. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys so much. This is really fun. You, you are both just, fabulous and i appreciate all of this so much i also wanted to thank you for the mascara recommendation because i truly really like the makeup and the ability that you know i don't wear a whole lot of makeup but it, it gives you the ability to put as little or as much on as you want i've even i'm even going to order some for my sister as a little surprise oh. so. and nicole is so amazing so you know yeah. She's great to FaceTime you if you need tips or tricks. And so I'm, I'm so glad. I think Rebecca and I can both say how much we love that makeup yeah. brand. Two things, Susan. First of all, this is a guilt-free zone. And yes. do not feel guilty about showing up without your camera on. We do see your faces, but we have totally been in your shoes when someone said, oh, we love to see your faces. And you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> so this is a guilt-free zone we love yes. either way and I would, on, yeah when and I on the mascara um thing it was funny because I've been using that for the last several months now and uh I had I was just like in a hurry and I'm not sure why I thought my tinted moisturizer was going to be faster than putting on my um, mascara foundation because it really wasn't but uh-huh I put on some of my um, tinted moisturizer and then I, I was looking in the rear view mirror and I thought, wow, your face <laughs> looks awful. It was like dry. And I thought, what the heck? And then I realized, oh, I'm not wearing my mascara foundation. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, well, it's... And I, I love the illuminator um, too, for when we're on camera, because it does add that dimension, that little shine uh -huh. through here. So it really is so fast and easy and I'm I've been using it for probably three years now it's my favorite makeup yeah yeah it, I, I just 
I just remembered one little tip I was going to do for people that wear glasses. I'm going to do that real quick. So oh. if you wear glasses, you can kind of see that the natural light is reflecting on my glasses. So you may need to have something that um, kind of refocuses that. But where you always see the reflection is when people have their little ring light and they turn them on and then you ah. see that. You see that round thing in the middle of my glasses? Yeah. If you shift your ring light over, then you don't have the light right in the middle. So you still have some light hitting your face, but you don't have that right there. Um, and then the other piece of that is if you have those tower lights that have multiple lights on it, they sit on the floor. Those yeah. are handy. I like them even better than ring lights. They're not quite as comfortable or as convenient, I guess is the word. Um, but you can have two of those towers on either side and you can have multiple lights. And so that just makes there, makes there be no void in um, good lighting. And tripods are super, super easy and cheap. And so um, you know, they come in all different varieties. If you need some suggestions, I know Amy's got some and I do as well, so we can get you links, but those are just a couple quick tips. Yeah. Yes, definitely a guilt-free zone. Definitely, yeah. you guys, we're bringing a lot of this to you because it's stuff that we've learned. I mean, I was on my bed watching a Zoom yesterday, so that's why I had the idea of starting this out on my bed, because I just had one of those days, and I knew it wasn't probably the greatest thing for me to do, but I wanted to be there. And I, you know, there's going to be those days. So we're really kind of trying to bring in the best of what we've learned, whether it's makeup, fashion, computer tips. These are all just things that you can filter out and use what works for you. None of, we don't think that all of this, it's just like the cabbie line. We come with a hundred pieces. We don't expect all hundred pieces to work for every single person. We want you to pick your favorite. So, you know, we just enjoy doing this. So Susan, thank you so much. I love how much you, um, time you give to us when you tune in and you're always so open to our hearts and just love you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I feel the same. Do we have any other questions? Can't think of anything. I know that everyone is really enjoying the fact that you guys are videoing this and then putting on Facebook so that I'm sure many, many people are unable to be here at noon, at noon for me, but um, whatever their time, uh, time frame is. And, and I know you guys must have lots of viewers on your Facebook. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we both we both record it and then we turn it into a YouTube link so we can use it separately, whichever fits our audience best. So thank you. That's great to know because I have had a few comments from working women saying they would love to tune in live, but it just doesn't work for their day. So yeah, absolutely. And we knew we were going to be encompassing several time zones um, right. between our clients. So, you know, we, it, we have to do what we can, but that being said, let me remind you what we get to do next week, which we're so excited because we are not stopping just because Cabby's season is going to be switching. Rebecca and I feel that it's really important for us to not stop. So the only Friday that we will not be here with you guys would be Christmas morning, which happens to fall on a Friday. So next week, we're talking about layering up. Now, Susan, you're in Louisiana. Rebecca's in Kansas. I am in Utah. Those layers can be different weights, different um, strategies, but it's all the same. And layering is really, really important. And it's a great way to prepare for the weather, both when it's getting cold and also when it's getting warmer again. So we're super excited to bring that to you. Then we're going to talk about comfy casual and um, we're going to do a denim week, which we're going to have some guest stylists, which is going to be really fun because we're going to encompass those different body types and how jeans are fitting. Um, so that one's going to be definitely valuable if you haven't tried our jeans yet. And then so far, our calendar that we're announcing is through December 4th. So 
We're going to get into some casual holiday outfits while you're out shopping um, or maybe have a few family small gatherings. And so we really want to take this through the way life are, is going. And Pamela just commented that cabbie jeans are fantastic. I know Susan agreed. Amen. Yes. yes, they are amazing. So we cannot wait to bring that to you guys. That's going to be one that I think is probably the most valuable, especially because we're talking about desktop dressing. We don't always have to be in our pajama bottoms or our joggers. We could be here in jeans and then go out on a grocery run. So um, we're just thrilled. We've really tried to come up with some great topics that we think will encompass all of our clients, no matter whether they're retired, stay-at-home moms, working corporate women. Um, we're really trying to just give you the nuggets that we appreciate so much about this too. So we will end that here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we love all of you so much and we will see you next Friday live again for our layering up. And oh, one thing I wanna announce, Rebecca and I are also going to be doing one to two, possibly three lives more on the evening. We're gonna try and do a Friday evening, but we may talk about an, another night of the week um, <clears throat> where we pull the cabbie curtain back and really talk about what the business side of cabbie looks like. Um, we feel like that's also part of our value and how, you know, if you guys want to know what we do and why we do it and where the education comes from. And then also the biggest nugget is how we make money. Um, so we're going to kind of separate that out from our style RXs because this part is the fun part. The business side is fun for us, but maybe not everybody is interested in the business side. So we really want to separate that out and bring value that way. Um, but even if you don't think you'd want to be a part of the business, if you guys are our cabbie loyalists and you love us, we would love for you to join in on that so that you have an idea of what we do and how we do it, because you guys are our best, best resources. You may know somebody that would be an incredible stylist. And if you tune in with us, you'll be able to say, hey, my stylist is amazing and this is how she makes money and why don't you join her? And so we would love to have you guys partner with us on that. And so right now we have it scheduled for next Friday, Rebecca, at 6 p.m. Um, Cause we're gonna try and just fill one day. If Friday evenings are- Mountain time. Yes, so 6 p.m. Mountain, mountain time. 7 central, yeah. Eastern. Five o'clock Pacific. <laughs> Beck is so much better about remembering yeah. there's other time zones in the United <laughs> States than Mountain. And um, is, is that going to also be videoed and offered um, other than that time period? Yeah, I think we will. I think yeah. it's something that we really want to share um, because for you as a hostess as well, that the business model is part of why Cabby brings you so much value at your 50% off items when you host. It's it's all encompassing. And so I think because we we both started out, you started out as a hostess. She was in Mary Kay. Um, I was also a hostess. It was really great for me to understand, you know, oh, that's how my stylist makes money. I'm going to help her and then I'll get better discounts as well. So it all comes together and we just feel like it's going to bring some value. So yes, 6 p.m. Mountain, 7 Central, 8 Eastern, and it would be 5 Pacific. And we're going to do that starting next Friday. So that one won't be quite as often, but I didn't want to leave without mentioning it um, so that you can set the word and help us share that information. Yeah, that sounds very, I'm always interested in the business side of things. So that That's sounds awesome. very interesting to me. I'll share, I'll share that with Mary now for sure. Oh, perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. Susan, we love you. We're gonna let you go. Have a okay. wonderful day. Thank you guys, you too. Thank you. Bye.